Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General reading. This is for the element of Earth. So if you're Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, someone arising, these messages are for you uh, for the weekend of August the 12th through the 14th, 2022. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate. But hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to email me for a price list if you don't already have it. If you're wanting me to reach you by phone, it's a separate process. So make sure you're first registered at bill per call, uh, request your call back. And if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within uh, a seven day time frame. Also, be sure to check me out on Patreon for the monthly Venus sign readings and check me out on TikTok. Okay. So we have the overall energy is the magician. We've got the page of swords, the eight of swords, the tower, seven of cups, queen of swords, four of pinnacles, and the four of cups. Okay, so Overall energies, I feel like there is something that you're trying to manifest. Um, I feel like there is something or someone that you're thinking about and maybe you're trying like different techniques to try and manifest this uh, desire. Um, it could be uh, meditating, it could be spell work. Um, it could be any method of manifestation. Um, it also seems like you are feeling stuck. Something's going on where it seems like you can't figure out how you got there. It's like you painted yourself into a corner and you're like, what did I do? What did I just do? Um, and I kind of feel like as an earth sign, you're malfunctioning because you're normally a logical person, but I feel that something's going on where you can't figure out what's happening. Um, I see too that your emotions are in the way or clouding your judgment. It's possible that you can't seem to stop thinking about someone and or you're having a hard time letting someone go. Um, it seems to like you're having a hard time reading someone. It could be reversed, like someone's having a hard time reading you. Someone does have a strong poker face. Um, and it's like, I can't tell what this person is thinking or feeling. You know, this person is looking at me straight talking about they cat just died. Like, what's wrong with this person? So I don't know. I just feel like you can't get a read on somebody. Like, um, you can't read them. Um, also for you, it is possible that someone is doing something to you. Uh, if you are kind of out of sorts or you feel easily distracted, it could be something going on. So you might want to clear your energy or protect your energy the way you know how. Um, somebody is dabbling in some candle magic though. I know everybody not in the spell work, but somebody dabbling in, into some candle magic. And I feel that, you know, someone is just trying to manifest their desires. It could definitely be a person. I feel like it's more so love related, but it also could be dealing with, um, money or finances. Um, and you're just trying to make it happen. Um, something is also like smoke and mirrors, smoke screen, something or someone isn't what it seems. Something is an illusion. Now, I mean, this is all good if you are, you know, some sort of writer or some sort of entertainer, um, because that's what you're doing. You're creating an illusion. You're making fantasies uh, for people to watch and enjoy. You're putting on a good performance. Um, but in a love situation, eesh, it can go either way. Um, it could be someone is definitely 
being manipulative or stringing you along. It's definitely somebody is being strung along. Um, if someone doesn't want you to go, um, they might be doing stuff to make you think of them all the time or vice versa. Maybe you're doing that. You're like, let me make sure I don't want them to go. Let me do some stuff. Um, but yeah, in a love situation, eh, I don't know. I just kind of feel like you might be looking, ignoring like a bunch of red flags, um, or telling yourself, making your own self believe something. You also could just simply be dating people, but you know, it's like you're not maybe taking anyone serious. It's like this is just entertainment. I'm not really interested in this person. I'm interested in um, something more with death, but you know, I'll go ahead and go out with this person for a minute. So the current person that you're dating might be a distraction just used as a distraction or um vice versa you know be cautious of any new people that you're dating because it might just be a distraction like they're not really taking a relationship or commitment serious maybe it's an affair or something that's just for fun or just someone who's trying to escape their reality um Either you can see straight through someone's BS or they see through yours. I really feel like somebody is like, I see right through you. Like that that doesn't fool me. That doesn't get to me. I know what you guys can see from different angles. Like stop it already. So I kind of feel like either this is your energy or how someone is viewing you. And somebody might call you out on BS. If it's not you, this is, you know, the other way around then. Um, also, in a love situation, someone may just be like communicating with you indirectly. Um, I feel like maybe someone needs to know if they can trust you. Or maybe this is how you feel, especially since you're Earth, you might be very slow at opening up or warming up to people. Or you could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio energies, especially Venus and Scorpio. But I kind of feel like maybe someone is testing you or you are testing someone. Um, yeah, somebody is like, let me see if, if they're going to take the bait. If you're in a relationship, this, I feel like somebody is going as far as creating a fake profile and, you know, trying to see if you can be lured into stepping out on a relationship. Um, so, you know, one of you d does something that extreme, either you or your partner. It's like, I just needed to see, I was testing them. Um, it's possible though, that someone is gonna get caught, not cheating per se, but more so like, I know this is you, like you did this. Why did you do that? Why, why didn't you just, why don't you trust me? You know, why would you have to do that to gain my trust? So, yeah, I feel like someone's being tested. Uh, I see, too, that there may be a secret that gets revealed. Even if it happened, like your dream shows you something. But it seems like there is a secret that's going to be revealed. If you're hiding something from someone, they're going to find out or vice versa. Even if someone doesn't know for sure, for sure, it's like they know. Mm. You might be seeing 44 or eights or those numbers may be significant. Um, I also feel like there is something that's getting ready that, to happen that is beyond your control. Someone from your past might pop up trying to get your attention. But it's like, what what are their intentions? I'm concerned about people's intentions, period. I feel like someone is covering something up or telling half-truths. Um, 
for instance, if like an ex comes back to you or, you know, they're calling you, reaching out to you, um, they definitely could be going through some sort of breakup and they're just looking for some sort of validation or they need some sort of um, sexual fulfillment um, from you. Or maybe you're the per person that they keep thinking of in regards to their fantasy. So, you know, I, I feel like I would be cautious because I feel like there's a reason behind them reaching out to you. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm I'm hearing someone say I, I smell a liar or I detect a lie. Mm. You also may be trying to read someone's energy. One of you one of you can read energy and the other other person can't. Cuz on one end I was picking up someone being able to call someone out and see right through them. And then on the other end, I'm seeing someone who just can't be read, the poker face, or, you know, someone is just like, there's a barrier. If you can't read someone's energy, it's possible that, you know, they is because they have some sort of protective barrier, or maybe they just have protective um, guardians around them that won't allow you to see certain things. Mm. Now, also you guys may be covering up your true emotions like you are putting on a show you're putting on airs like you might be dealing with anxiety or dealing with something very personal but you're going out into the world and you're like hey i'm fine so you know either way it just it still seems like masks are being worn um I also see a big distraction coming up. Mm, something again, smoke and mirrors. Something is being used to deflect or distract. Now that could be, I, I usually get that for some sort of news story. Um, like something in media is a distraction is to have you looking one way while something else is going on over here. Mm. Somebody's smoke detector may need changing. Something is playing out like a movie. Maybe your life is playing out like a movie. I don't know. It may be revealed to you that you're being watched or someone keeping tabs on you, or that someone is just simply thinking about you. Could be air, or it could be water. Also could be reversed. If there's someone that you keep thinking about, they're probably dreaming about it or picking it up. They detect it. Something also maybe needs your urgent attention I also feel that outside forces are going to do something to put you on a different path. I feel like your life is going to be intervened. Um, if you are entering a relationship with someone, or even if you had like several love interests and you're like, okay, well, I'll pick this person. I feel like if you're not meant to be with that person, like if it's something like a bigger picture, there's something big going on. 
in your love life could be important at this time. I kind of feel like the universe will intervene and be like, that's not the one. Let's get rid of this person. Um, and it could be an abrupt separation or ending. Um, and I feel like the universe would put you on a path to being with the person that you're meant to be with. Now, even if not a love situation, it still seems like the universe is going to intervene to put you on the path that you're supposed to be on. But something definitely needs your attention. I also feel that you're going to come to realize something. But you're afraid. It's something that you start to realize and you're like, but you're like, I'm afraid. It's funny, I'm hearing, I'm afraid, don't be, I'm afraid, don't be. <laughs> Who is that? It's getting late, what you have to be here. I know I'm, I'm singing it in a wrong key. I can't think of who that is, though. So. Mmm. Somebody might be having an affair. Somebody might get caught. Um, if you're the one having an affair, then you, you're going to get caught. If it's somebody else, then they're going to get caught. Um, it also could be that there is a secret being revealed in regards to like somebody having somebody pregnant or having a baby um, or some sort of family secret. Mm. Okay, I feel like maybe someone's been fantasizing about you or you them. There's definitely some fantasy, uh, an element of fantasizing going on. Mm. Okay, so I also feel that for some of you, especially if you were torn like you had, several uh, love interests. I feel like it's gonna dawn on you who your person is. And it's like you can't stop thinking about them. It just seems like this would be your ideal person. I feel like you're also maybe captivated by someone's eyes. And I feel like the eyes, the eye shape, like you're really drawn to the eye shape more so than the color. If it is the color, they might be like hazel or like a lighter shade of brown. I feel like someone also may set boundaries with you if they don't trust you. It also seems that someone is waiting for a response. Okay, so if there has been someone that's been communicating with you indirectly, um, you know, just kind of like dropping hints that they're interested, um, cryptic messages, like I feel like this person is waiting to see if you're going to respond or waiting to see if you caught on. Uh, this also could be reversed. Mm. And I also feel like maybe someone's feelings are a little hurt because they haven't got a response.
Okay, I feel like someone is has like a secret location. I don't know. It's almost like someone's hiding out in a secret location. Um, maybe or maybe you just have like a private spot in your home you like to go to when you want to be left alone. Mm. I also feel like someone is having a hard time letting you go or moving on or you feel this way about somebody. Someone's also having a hard time expressing how they feel. Something is on pause for you. I feel like there is something that you're wanting to do, but it's on pause for now. Like you're waiting for some sort of changes. Or you're waiting for the conditions to be better. You might feel stuck somewhere until conditions change. Now, that's funny, I got this in uh, an earlier reading about a storm. So let's say you are at the airport, you're waiting to go home, bam, some sort of massive storm hits and you're kind of like stuck in the airport. I feel like weather may delay something and you might feel stuck until some sort of storm passes. For others of you, there's a mental block. You're dealing with some sort of mental block. If you are a writer, I feel like you're dealing with a writer's block. Spirit may be trying to show you something, but I kind of feel like you might be ignoring it. Especially too, if you're, you know, you're sick of signs and synchronicities. Um, yeah. I also feel like there could be some sort of miscommunication going on for some of you. Um, I feel like someone's shyness is being mistaken for uh, disinterest. So the other person is like, oh, well, they're not interested in me, so whatever. And I feel like it may just be that the person is shy um, hmm. It also seems like someone may keep trying to push your buttons, trying to get a reaction out of you. And I do feel like there's going to be a big reaction, like something's going to grab your attention. I still feel like there's confusion in regards to someone's feelings for the other person. Someone is like very confused about how they feel about you or vice versa. Um, career wise, something may be going on where you're making excuses as to why you can't do something. I don't know what it is. Maybe you truly believe that your reason for not doing something is legit or justify, but I'm getting that your perspective is your perspective. You can do something. Those are excuses. Um, you might need to have some sort of reality check. Someone feels like you're their soulmate, but their guards are up. I really feel like maybe it's something that they're waiting to see from you before they move forward. All right, so let's pull some energy cards. Oh my God, everybody's reading comment loan today. All right, additional messages for, who am I doing? Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Sun, Moon, and Rising this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You have the Temple Path. You got that last week, I think. Woman Holding a Heart. Action. Overall Energy. Fifth Chakra. Archangel Gabriel. Yeah, so it does seem like there's communication issues. Um, I feel that there is a need for somebody to just speak up or speak what they're thinking or feeling. There may be an opportunity for you to say what's on your mind. And I feel like you should take this opportunity if possible. Um, I'm hearing something about benefit of the doubt. Mm, you might need to give someone a benefit of the doubt. That depends on your situation. Um, so, you know, use that. Um, use your discernment to decide whether or not to give someone the benefit of the doubt. And did I say I was seeing 44? It's coming out again. So yeah, I feel like um, 44 is a significant number for you. Something I feel like offhand, it may have something to do with you needing security or establishing some sort of uh, trust or foundation or that something is going to stabilize after there needed to be a destabilization first and then things can uh, be leveled out and restructured so I feel like something is going to be stabilized again um, something also may be going on in regards to uh, your home or just the feeling of home or feeling of security with someone. Um, okay, I feel like in a love situation, really any situation, but you know, um, the path that you're on, like someone may be leading you or helping you on your spiritual path, or someone is being placed into your life for a reason. You may be attracted to someone um, and not realizing that it's a part of your spiritual growth or your spiritual path. Uh, you also might meet someone in a, in a group that has something to do with spirituality. Um, like you could find your person there. It does seem like maybe something or someone, well, someone's going to stand out. Um, I feel like you are also being inspired to pursue your passion this weekend. Something happens where you're like, I'm inspired. I'm about to do this. I'm about to take action. So something's going on where I feel like you're gonna be active or actively pursue um, your passion, your dream. Um, or, you know, someone is pursuing you, actively pursuing you, like someone's in love or someone um, is really attracted to you so they start to pursue you. Um, Depends on who's the pursuer. It could be the other way around. Um, and then too, like I was saying, how you were possibly making excuses for something. I kind of feel like um, now's your chance. It's like, okay, you've been making excuses. Here's the opportunity to do whatever you said you were set out to do. Um, so nothing's stopping you. And so I feel like you're going to take some sort of a chance or you're going to go ahead and do whatever it is that you've been making excuses about. <clears throat> I feel like you also may be getting ready to speak. I don't know. Something's going on where it seems like you're going to speak or teach about something really personal to you. Hmm. I'm hearing something about 
love will follow. I also see too something about if you build it, they will come. So especially if you were thinking about starting a business, but you were thinking like, oh, I'm not going to have any business or what it's kind of like, hey, if you build it, they will come. So stop making excuses and get to it. Yeah, so hopefully these messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending you love and grace.